Hello, hello, hello. Hope you guys have been well. So, there is a new type of sediment-free white DTF ink available on the market that's gaining popularity. I didn't want to make any comments on it um, before I had a chance to uh, properly test it. And having done so, I have a bit of the problem with the way it's being marketed as sediment-free ink. So for the last two months, I've been running a little experiment. I put um, sediment-free ink into this bottle and standard white DTF thing into this bottle and I let them sit on a table for two months. Um, so from first glance, it seems like this one is whiter and this one is a little bit more watery. And if we go around, it becomes obvious that standard ink separates a lot more than the supposed sediment free ink but you still have sediment here's a better look from this angle standard ink sediment free standard sediment free let's turn this bottle upside down And have a look at the sediment. This is standard ink. Let's turn this one upside down. Say exactly the same thing. Sediment. Sediment. Okay, so now let's give this bottle a good shake. Let's have a look. Now let's do the same with sediment free ink. After giving it a couple of minutes to settle, the supposed sediment free ink has all of its pigments mixed in. And standard DTF ink still has a layer of pigment stuck to the bottle so what's the conclusion this so-called sediment free ink still has a lot of sediment it still needs to be circulated and shaken um, it will still separate in your dampers you can't just put it in your print and never shake it and just keep on printing with it um, the difference is this ink has softer sediments it's much more forgiving it's much easier to circulate it and it doesn't clump up and um, settle quite in the same way as standard ink does see like even after after a while it still has all this um pigment stuck to the bottom um and by the way the uh, like this ink looks whiter it's because of the lighting if we swap them around this one looks lighter so uh, overall the opacity is um, exactly the same so if you go for sediment free ink um, you're still gonna get the exact same results as you would with the standard ink so yeah this ink is a lot more forgiving um, we've been running it for almost half a year now and haven't had any clogs um, it's much more easier to circulate um, but I can't sell it as a sediment free ink, so I'll have to list it as soft sediment. Otherwise it's misleading. Um, it still requires the same amount of maintenance as uh, regular ink does. And I don't want people being misled into buying this one um, over this one because um, the soft sediment ink is a lot more expensive. But it's gonna give you fewer problems.